Hi Screen Junkies, welcome to another edition of Entertainment News with me, Michael Bates. Last week was the UK release of La La Land and in the same week it won a record seven awards at the Golden Globes, including Best Musical. So we're asking, was La La Land the best musical of 2016? There were other good musicals that came out this year, such as Moana and Sing, but for me there's only one that really stands in contention, and that one is Sing Street. A couple of disclaimers before I start. I've only seen both of these films once, so if I've missed anything, I'm sorry about that. I have to say I thoroughly enjoyed both of them, and I would definitely recommend them. But I will be breaking them down into the pros and cons, so if you can't bear hit to hear anything negative about them, maybe this isn't the video for you. I'm going to be talking in some depth about the story, so if you haven't seen them yet, I would suggest waiting and watching this video after you've seen them both. Round 1. The Visuals Sing Street is an independent film set in a sort of post-industrial, run-down town. Um, it's sort of similar to something like Billy Elliot or The Full Monty, and the visuals are accordingly appropriate. Um, there's nothing particularly spectacular, but I will say the shots of the boat and on the train are well framed and you know generally the whole film looks like appropriate for the type of film that it is. La La Land on the other hand is gorgeous. Every shot looks spectacular um, and even like some of the shots look so good because they were filmed at the Magic Hour and people have commented that they thought it was filmed in a studio or on green screen because it just looks un unreal and natural how beautiful it is. Um, even the sort of indoor shots and some of the more musical numbers set in the real world use vibrant colours and clever cinematic techniques to add to the magic of the visuals. Definitely La La Land wins the visual round. <laughs> round 2. The Story Both of these films are about love and following your dreams. Both have drama and comedy. Sing Street also gets into family and friendship, um, and it ends with the main characters sailing off into the distance. Maybe they live happily ever after, maybe it's something else. The audience is left to decide for themselves. La La Land focuses entirely on the main characters. While that's not necessarily a bad thing, it does mean that you lose some of the dynamics and character difficulties that you get from the story in Sing Street. Then there's the ending, or should I say, two endings. I found it really frustrating that in both cases, Mia ends up as a Hollywood actress. I mean, I'm sure she could afford to finance Seb to buy his bar if that's what he really wanted to do. So ultimately, their sacrifice is meaningless. It completely undermines the point of having this kind of sad alternative ending. For me, it would have worked much better if they'd have ended up either happy and poor or successful and miserable. So I say, Sing Street wins the story round. <laughs> round 3. The acting. The performances are solid across the board in both films, which is particularly impressive in Sing Street given that it's a mainly young cast with many debut performances. You really feel invested in the characters and it never falls into the traps associated with films with a young cast. The two leads in particular are very good, but the standout is the older brother played by Jack Rayner. In La La Land, Ryan Gosling's performance is also solid, as he's effortlessly charming and funny, but he's given little else to do, and I think he was better in this year's The Nice Guys. It's Emma Stone who really shines, with key scenes, some tragic and some comedic, hinging silently on her facial expressions. These are scenes that I've no doubt in the future will be shown in acting classes, and that's why La La Land wins round three. Round 4. The music. Music is a key part of any musical and its success hinges on that more than in any other genre. Both films feature a combination of big song and dance numbers and small intimate performances. But the music in La La Land really failed to hit home for me. On a technical level I found it very difficult to hear or understand the lyrics. One thing that characterised old musicals, even up to modern ones like Moulin Rouge, was crisp, clear vocals. Because this was lacking, it made it difficult for me to become emotionally involved in the songs. 
Similarly, the dancing was good, but not great. Even my mum, who watches dancing on TV, could spot the flaws. It's been said that this lack of finesse was done intentionally to convey the fact that these characters are real people and they're just breaking into song and dance naturally. The problem I have with that is that like, most musicals don't feature characters who are professional singers and dancers, so I don't think that argument holds up. Then there's the key song, City of Stars, which is the one that's been nominated for all the awards. I find it a bit of a dirge. City of Stars. I mean, I can see it working, sung by someone like Frank Sinatra, but Gosling just doesn't have the nuance to pull it off. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying the music and dancing in La La Land was bad, I just think that the lack of finesse ultimately let the film down. Sing Street, on the other hand, had a much more fun pop music video vibe, and although it had less to do, it encapsulated that perfectly. Drive It Like You Stole It is a real fun, feel-good song that had people tapping their feet in the theatres and dancing outside on the streets. Even the riddle of the model had me rewinding at the end so I could give it another listen. Sing Street wins the music round, hands down. And for the final round I want to talk about the total package, the complete movie going experience you get from seeing these films. La La Land, with its beautiful landscapes, well choreographed brightly coloured dance sequences, the audition scenes filled with comedy and drama, in fact well delivered comedy throughout, the penultimate scene where Mia becomes a famous actress lets you believe dreams do come true. You leave the theatre joyful but with a slight sense of melancholy, longing for what could have been. Maybe humming City of Stars to yourself. Sing Street encapsulates the coming of age team drama dealing with school, family, friends and falling in love. The catchy soundtrack filled with 80s classics and fantastic original songs will have you tapping your foot throughout. In the end you get your fairy tale ending as the lovers ride off into the sunset, but giving you no guarantees. Not everyone becomes a famous actress or a famous musician. The point is never to be afraid to try. You leave the theatre full of joy, dancing and singing Drive It Like You Stole It with your friends. Which is why I think Sing Street is the best musical of 2016. <laughs> So that's it. What do you think was the best musical of 2016? Let me know in the comments below or at pygmy underscore warrior. And feel free to like and subscribe. I'm a huge Green Junkies fan, so I'll put links to them in the description below. Check them out. See you later.